Hi, we're guys doing stuff, and this time, those guys are going to play video games while I finish working on The Secret Room. Do, 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 do. a lot of lumber to cut for this project, so rather than show you every slice and every board, I'll just show you two. Moving on! With all the boards cut, I'm laying out the bunk frames that I'll glue and screw. Glue and... Glue and... Glue and... Screw, glue and screw. Now these are the rails that will support the cross slats to hold the mattresses. I need to make about 40 cross slats, so rather than measure and marking each one, I set up a stop block on my miter station to make cutting a breeze. Look at that. Just slide her down and cut the next one. Now the intention of this next shot is to show how I cut a notch in the end of the bunk's support legs. I just ran the board through the table saw over and over. However, when I got down to editing, I realized that the camera's built-in stabilization mechanism actually followed my motion, and when I watched it sped up, made me dizzy. So let's all agree that we understand what I'm doing and cut to the next shot. We've all tried to avoid sanding. We've all got splinters from poorly sanded wood. So. We sand. All right, here we are, kind of a blank canvas in the uh, secret room now. So we're gonna mount these about five feet high. First thing we need to do, find the starts. And they should be 20 inches on center. Well, they should be 16 on center, but. All right, now what we did is Remember we made this little channel here? This is so that we can go around the molding without having to take the molding off because this isn't a permanent thing. It's fairly temporary and I don't want to have to replace molding. So, we notch. We drill some pirate holes into this upright. Right now, I don't know if you can see here, but I drew, I took my level, marked out where the stud is the whole way down. Got a pencil line to line ourselves up. Make sure she's nice and level. And then we'll drive her home. Alright, here's where we are. The studs are too close for there to be a support beam at the end of this, of either one of the beds. So I cut a nice long 2x4 and I'm going to hang this at this level all the way across the room. That way uh, each bed will have something to rest on and then I can use it as a shelf support as well. So let's start measuring the studs. To hold the posts up, these posts, I built some uh, quarter corner braces. We're going to attach them with pocket holes. So uh, I clamped the pocket hole jig on. We'll just drill some pocket holes here. All right, so we've got our pocket holes drilled on our angles. I checked this already to make sure it's plumb. Now we're just going to pop a little glue on here, run up the screws, and that should keep these posts from wiggling too much. Now we're going to put these ladder ends on here. I've measured up 
every 12 inches. I'm going to have another step because this is uh, sometimes my nieces and nephews are going to sleep over here and they're not quite as big as my boys. So a uh, quick little step every 12 inches should be just what the doctor ordered. All right, find our mark, hit our level. have to put a little platform or something right here. So to fill this gap up here, I just ripped some 2x4s in half and we'll just uh, plop them up there and make a little floor. And after giving it a weight test, I figured I'd also put a little piece of chipboard on top of there just to uh, give it a little more strength, you know. Much better, much better. That way the kids aren't falling. Or especially the neighbor's kids. My kids, that's okay, but someone else's kids, you got a little problem. One last thing I wanna do is I wanna put hammocks in here so that we can have four kids sleeping in here at a time. Two underneath hanging in hammocks and two up on top. And that way, if you need the hammocks, you've got them. If you don't, you put them away and then you put the other things in here. So I'm gonna put some eye bolts into the stud here and the one that's connected to the stud over here. That way we'll have a nice secure anchor point for our hammocks. Hammock carabiner. Right to it. And we're good. Another carabiner. Right there. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Come back and we'll have some more videos again real soon. I'm Gus. <laughs>